Hello and welcome to Fishing in Germany. This is part two of a three-part series of species of fish you're going to commonly find in fresh waters here. Uh, part one, I went over the Raub fish or the predator fish. In this part, I'm going to go over freed fish or non-predatory fish. This list is a bit longer. This is not a complete list, but this is the most common ones I come across here. So to start out, we have carp, uh, carpfen, and you find those in rivers, lakes, ponds. Uh, Spiegel carp, which is mere carp, or your grass carp, you know, there's all the spe well, the common species you find here, commonly. Um, carp, they get huge, you know, they fight really good, especially in the rivers. They're stronger because they're getting, they have more muscle, I think, from being in the rivers and fighting the current. So they fight really good and they get very big. My personal best was about 12 pounds, five and a half kilos, around something like that. And, um, oops. Even in smaller rivers that are there, you'll find them. Um, then we have bream. In German, that's brasse. Brasse. Um, bream get very big, too. I catch a lot of those, especially at my favorite spot. Um, they're, they get really big, but they're pretty skinny, so they don't fight very hard for their size. They're still fun to catch. They're bony, but they're really tasty. Um... I really like the, the meat from Bream. Um, I catch those generally more often at night. Um, and usually when there's one, there's several. They're, they're usually in groups, it seems like. So they're, they're pretty easy to catch bottom fishing using pop-up boilies or corn. Corn works really good for Bream. Um, then we have Tench. In German, that's Schleier. And those are cool, too. I've come across those pretty frequently but more so in the summer in the the early early autumn but i i haven't seen any for a while now that it's autumn and just almost starting winter in a couple days uh chub or in german it's dubel and chub are very common here um just last day I went fishing two days ago, I caught two. My, actually, another personal best. It was 62 centimeters. I didn't have a scale, but it felt roughly two, two and a half pounds. And um, those are common as well. They're, they're fun to fight. They, um, they fight harder than the bream. Normally, the ones I find in the rivers here, they're not that big. The, like I said, the biggest was 62 centimeters that I've caught in so far. Naza... In English, I guess that's... I had to look it up. I wasn't even sure. Because it was the first time I saw one was in Germany. It's called Sneep in English. And um, they're called Nasa, which means nose in German. And it, you can... It, when you first look at it, it looks very similar to a chub. If you look closer, the face, you see why it's called Nasa. The, it's got a weird front face, like a big nose. Um, then we have Roach. Uh... Rotalgen in German, which means red eye. There's also the ruds, which is rotfeda. They look very similar. The rotfeda, usually the fins are red. And rotalgen, the eyes are red. Other than that, they look really similar. They're usually pretty small. They don't get super big. Um, again, they're very, very bony. And they work good for bait fish. Uh, there's also barbel. Um... I think in German it's Barbe, I, I believe. Yeah, it's a very similar word. Um, what else do we got? Asia, which is grayling. Those you're only going to find in super clean water. Uh, I don't think I'll find they're in the rivers I'm currently fishing at. I've never seen them anyways. Uh, another one is Crucian carp. Those are a type of carp species. They're, I believe they don't get very big. I've come across them a few times. They're pretty small. And I mean, like I said, that's not a complete list, but that's the most common ones I come across here. All of these I have caught in different ways, but they all are easily caught bottom fishing in a river with either uh, worm, maggots, or even corn. Um, I think every single one of these I've caught off corn as well. And that's it. And so for the third and final series of these three videos, I want to go over what are more considered like a nuisance fish that you don't normally want to catch, but you'll end up catching anyways. All right. Thanks for watching.